The founder of Hershey's Chocolate, Milton Hershey, believed that everyone should have the choice to be happy and enjoy simple goodness. This inclusive attitude was a foundation for the Hershey Company and even for his legendary nonprofit foundation, the Hershey Trust. As a trustee for the Hershey Trust, I am a steward for the mission that Milton S. Hershey established. The mission fleshes itself out in the Milton S. Hershey School, a school that enrolls a diverse student body of 1,200 low-income young men and women on a residential campus in central Pennsylvania. The trust receives $80 million from the interest of the chocolate company to support the school's operation. In recent years, though, the company has been hit hard by stagnating revenue and a slumping stock price. Now, Hershey's Trust owns controlling interest, interest of the Hershey Company. In 2002, we were denied the opportunity to sell the company because of how it would hurt the public. Since the company can't be sold, we, the trustees, are looking for another way to grow the company. That option in 2009 is to buy the British company Cadbury Chocolate. With the proposal to buy Cadbury, we, the Hershey Trust, find ourselves in conflict with the Hershey Company. On the one hand, we feel without the purchase of Cadbury, Hershey will not be able to compete internationally and the long-term interests of the, of the trust will be jeopardized. On the other hand, the company is concerned with the volume of borrowing that would cause the company's credit ratings and the stock prices to decline. As a board, we are thinking through the purchase. We need to remember who we're accountable to. Worth in nonprofit management describes accountability to be Janus like, that is, like the Roman god of the doorways and the arches, with two faces, one looking outside and one looking inside. The outward aspect of accountability in a nonprofit involves society as a whole. Furthermore, Fisher Howe, in his article, the board member's first duty, accountability, states nonprofit organizations, because they're supported by public contributions and enjoy favorable tax treatments, are accountable to the public. We, Hershey Trust, are accountable to the public and need to be concerned for these specific areas for resources and results, for adherence to mission and law, and for finally, finally, for representation of community needs. These are the outward aspects. The inward aspects for the board is the area of fiscal stability and sustainability. Within this category comes the budget. How describes the scope of responsibility like this? Approving the budget and overseeing adherence to it. The other fiscal matter concern is the investments. How states it like this? Controlling investments of capital funds such as endowments and res or reserve funds is the responsibility for which board members are fully accountable. With these responsibilities endowed in the Hershey Trust and the fact we own controlling interest in the company, we need to move forward with the purchase of Cadbury despite the risks. Our responsibility to the town of Hershey, because the number of citizens we employ, Hershey Trust needs to do everything in their power to keep the company thriving. At the same time, let's not forget the focus of the trust, the school. If we are to keep the vision of Milton Hershey alive, we have to explore the option, all the options. And what we've been doing these last seven years has not worked. There is a changing climate in our industry and we need to move forward with expansion. Our recommendation as a board is to purchase Cadbury, offering a price higher than Kraft. Thus, we will be able to contend the vision of giving, the, giving others the opportunity for happiness and simple goodness.